So you had a talk with Andre, and now you want to discuss things with Noid. Good. It's good you talked to Andre first. Gave me time to get a reading on your side. Can't really talk to people before you get a reading. Yeah, got to compare. See if we can align. I suck at socialising, man. Even now, our sign synchronisation is way off. I'll see what I can do. Weird stuff. Specialised. There was a data processor and some sort of long wave machinery. Wires going into water. Gives off a spy sign. Or some fucked up Savaran science sign. You know, the kind that goes in first into the supernatural. Nothing's wrong with it. You should definitely be researched. You can still do sick shit with it, though. The sickest. That's perhaps why it should be researched. Most of it doesn't exist. But there's also stuff that isn't allowed to exist. Because the moralists think it's too dangerous for the plebs. Psionic powers, pale-related diseases, pretenders pretending to be human, folk rights, that kind of stuff. The hardcore aesthetic is esoteric. It's not meant to be discussed with the law at this moment. It's not easy to reach a harmonic resonance of science without some adjustment. Yes, further sign matching would be good for us. One way to achieve this would be by getting us into the church. The shaggy-haired girl kneels on the sea ice. She looks up as you approach. So you talk to my associates, right? Are you gonna help us? With the church, I mean. Great. Let us know if there's any progress, will ya? We've been waiting for weeks here. Come on, I can tell. But, okay. Be a boyadero about it if you want to. What is it? Oh, really? So, the thing that's been eating you is the slow pace of social progress. Okay, so you're not that upset, it sounds like. Uh-huh. And you're sure it's social progress you're distressed about, and not, I don't know, some chick? Hmm, perhaps. Okay, why do you think that? Well, man, that's pretty symbolic. Don't you think? Used to be sweet. Now it's shit. Seems pretty symbolic to me. Anyway, what else? There you have it then, chick trouble. Not political after all. Who was she? Really? You seem to be pretty upset about this chica. Are you sure you don't remember anything about her? Wow, man. That's some pretty strange shit. Are you sure the letters were for you? How come you don't remember, though? Is it like some selective memory thing? Man, when I get hurt, I just want to forget that shit, you know? That kind of selective memory. Yeah, or it might be that. This one time I did so much booze that I forgot too. It's obvious she's done more than booze. Or it might just be some psych bullshit, you know? Koenigstein wank. 
You know, the psych thing they've got going on there. Rich people like it. People in Königstein are mostly rich. You're welcome. Might be for the best to keep that shit forgotten, though. Just my opinion. If it itches, don't scratch. Yes, but it itches really, really bad. My associates? I haven't got much to say about them. Sorry. I just don't tell people about my friends and who they are and so on. I don't provide information on them. To the cops. Me? I'm a silver bird. Don't know what makes you think it'll be any different later, but... Oh, that. You're not going to believe me. There's no point in me telling you. She's less prone to blurt it out, crab man, than the others. Okay. I went in and I saw a woman next to one of those machines there. Noid calls it a mainframe. She was dressed like someone who's been raised by their grandmother. You know, strange old clothes. Had this absent expression, didn't say anything, just stood still. And then, you know, right behind her, a man crawled down the wall. Upside down like a crab. Down the church wall. I think the woman didn't even know he was there. He was completely silent. He stopped right before he got to the floor. Then just hung there like that, looking at me. Right at me. I fucking turned around and walked out. End of story. Like a crab, you say? It was too dark. I couldn't tell exactly. Come on. She obviously could. She already went into detail. He looked like a banger, okay? He was all muscular and stuff. Had a mesh tank top. I know it sounds ridiculous, but that only made it scarier in a way. A crab? And a banger? Yes, a banger. As in a mess gang member. I know what it sounds like, but that's what I saw. Why? <coughs> Nothing. Anyway, what else? I did, and I'm sorry. For what it's worth. Which isn't much. This is why I didn't go into the tent. Typical delinquency. You don't get to choose your posse, they choose you. Mine are idiots, but they're mine. I tried to talk Andre out of it. I even tried not to lie to you. Indeed. She merely tried to omit the truth instead. I know. But I knew you'd see through their plan too. I'm not an idiot. I should have been able to control them. And I will in the future. I promise. May I ask? What did you tell them? Good call, detective. You can lose your mind trying to mediate everything these delinquents come up with. Fate will take care of it for us. We won't be anyone's problem. I'll get them under wraps, I promise.
heavy wooden doors, more than twice your height, stand shut in front of you. The rectangular sea-worn ornamentation appears in stark contrast to the padlock, carelessly drilled into the wood. The carving on the door is block-like and angular, like the church itself. Two large beams shoot downwards, sinking into the wood before they reach the threshold. The surface is smooth from the wind, but moist to the touch. Feels exceptional. 300 tons of pine would fit together seamlessly. It's old too, cut and carved many centuries ago. This cheap looking padlock is sturdily built. It shackles together a hasp and a staple screwed into the wooden door. The lock is adorned with a yellow sticker. It'll be easier to break the staple than the lock. Also, that sticker is interesting, somehow. You see a yellow circle with two X's and a big curve below them that looks like a mouth. You're pretty sure you haven't seen it before, but what the symbol depicts is clear enough. A smiling dead guy. The curve makes it smile and the X's make it dead. There is something blindingly modern about this symbol. Its modernness puts to shame everything you've seen before. It's the contrast between the cherry, chemical yellow, and the rigor mortis. As if the cherry guy didn't know he was dead, or the dead guy didn't care that he was. Either way, you get the sense the forces of future are at work here. These forces of future have chosen to pick something that reminds you of you. He takes off his glasses and uses a blue handkerchief to thoroughly wipe them clean before inspecting the sticker. Then he looks up, pauses, and replies. No. Looks like a dead man smiling. Suggests junior delinquency. For Revachtol Z aussi, the moral intern defines junior delinquents as minors between the ages of 10 and 16 who have committed an act in violation of the law. These acts aren't called crimes as they would be for adults. Crimes committed by minors are called delinquent acts. This was part of your officer's exams. I haven't seen that sticker before, and I'm not a youth. That level of conceptual thinking is not part of my skill set. This cheap looking padlock is sturdily built. It shackles together a hasp and a staple screwed into the wooden door. The lock is adorned with a yellow sticker. It'll be easier to break the staple than the lock. Also, that sticker is interesting, somehow. Heavy wooden doors, more than twice your height, stand shut in front of you. The rectangular sea-worn ornamentation appears in stark contrast to the padlock, carelessly drilled into the wood. There's nothing like the sound of a sticker unpeeling. Now it's stuck to your thumb. Looks like today was a gold star day. This cheap looking padlock is sturdily built. It shackles together a hasp and a staple screwed into the wooden door. It'll be easier to break the staple than the lock. Also, that sticker is interesting, somehow. The carving on the door is block-like and angular, like the church itself. Two large beams shoot downwards, sinking into the wood before they reach the threshold. The doors remain unchanged, closed with a padlock.
heavy wooden doors. The lock turns easily. You hear a click as the shackle pops open. Let's go. As you do, you hear the echo of the Doom commercial area, its black holes and dusty machines. Then the feeling passes. A great whoosh of air rushes into the dark innards of the church, as though rushing to fill a great vacuum. In the heart of the city, 